All right. All right, you guys. Okay. We just did a Costco run. Got me some paper towels. We got Damon some eggs and um, his meat. Meanwhile, even though I had a protein shake before I walked into the Costco, <laughs> the smell of bread, oh, it smells so good. Oh. And then it was like this weird cartoon that was like going off in my head. It was like, you know, the tilapia and the shrimp and the, and it's like all the food were like talking to me and they were like, remember me? I, it was so good when you ate me. It's crazy, it's crazy. Um, all right, so tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow, I haven't done a couple of videos because I really didn't, <laughs> there wasn't much else, and I'm sweating a little bit. I know, it's hot, it's hot. Um, it's 67 degrees outside, oh. Um, no, yeah, I, I didn't have a lot to say because I didn't have a lot to say. I um, actually know the last four days I've had a terrible cold and I uh, desperately needed to rest so that I could be ready to go. Um, what is that? Oh, my face. I feel like my face is just, I'm just having, I'm having it. I'm having it, whatever. Um, yeah, the last four days I had a cold. I was supposed to work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Today's Monday. And I worked on Friday and I almost passed out while I was at work. I like just so I, I wasn't sure if it was a flu or if it was a cold and you know they won't do the surgery if you're feeling bad so I had to do everything I could to <clears throat> rest get myself up to date um, and I'm feeling better just a couple of slight sniffles but I'm feeling better and um, then I didn't have a time for my surgery, I just knew that it was gonna happen tomorrow, but then they finally did call today, and I, I told Damon, my husband, where's my husband? I, um, I told him, um, you know, answer the phone, you know, because they're supposed to tell me what time, and they did, they called and said, be there at 6.30 in the morning. So, I'm super thankful that I've gotten so much love and support from everybody. Um, that I've shared my story with people who knew me, you know, here in New York. Um, they've been great. My family is awesome. My best friends are awesome. And, um, you know, I am a little scared, but at the same time, I'm like super excited. So, and what's really been helping me has been watching a lot of the other YouTube videos of people who've gone through it and, you know, they're coming out on the other end and they're doing what they needed to do. And, um, and you know, and I know I'm always gonna have like the struggle with the food situation, but I know that this will help me. So, you know, um, it's it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. Sorry, the camera's all jumpy. We're like driving through <laughs> through the mall part here. This is um this is where I live. Well, I don't live over here, but this is like Woodhaven Boulevard, and so there's like a big mall over here, J.C. Penney's and Macy's, which I've never really gone in there to shop for clothes ever because nothing in there ever fits me. So this will be really exciting to to lose weight and be one of those people that's like, yeah, I actually can shop at JCPenney's now and like buy something. But that's like a, a year away because I'm 350. So, you know, um, we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. So on our Costco run, I made sure to get the Gas X. I made sure to, um, I saw those premier protein shakes that everybody talks about, the banana cream. They only had the banana cream, so I didn't see the caramel flavor, but um, so I got the banana cream. And then I bought another big bag of chocolate whey protein that, um, because I was running out and I was supposed to buy vanilla, but. <laughs> I just figured if it's, there's a big bag of it here, I should probably just get that, you know? So, yeah. So, I got my protein shake stuff, and now we're on our way to Stop and Shop to get um, some of, like, the sugar-free applesauce and, like, the sugar-free jellos and um, maybe, like, the sugar-free popsicles and stuff like that. 
um, because according to, you know, your first week is mostly liquids and, um, or, you know, really soft, 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 soft foods. So, um, so that's what we're going to look at. And then I'm going to go to Walgreens and get, um, the earplugs because I'm a super sensitive sleeper and, um, I just, hospitals just, I never had to stay in a hospital. I've never had anything ever wrong with me. <clears throat> except for like this past year when my knees gave out and speaking of the last week I haven't I'm not allowed to take I've been taking this Diclofenac for my knees it says I'm supposed to take it like three times a day but I have really only like needed it um, one time a day unless I'm doing more than one tour in a day because I'm a tour guide in the city so um, and I haven't been able to take it because it's basically an NSAID or an NSAID, however you say that. It's like, it thins your blood out, you know? Um, so I have osteoarthritis in my knees and, um, I haven't been able to take the, the, um, the pill. So I've been taking Tylenol and I can feel the difference. Um, I'm super, now I'm like super excited about this weight loss because hopefully the pain will go away until I'm, you know, older and we'll deal with it then but uh just you know this is what all how it all started so um yep that's the plan so i'm gonna go to the store and we're gonna get some things and um i'll pack up tonight and go to bed early go get my surgery on and i'm sure i'll film some things tomorrow when we're at the hospital um because i think it's a pretty exciting time and and I'm definitely gonna try to do more, um, you know, body shots and things like that, um, and scaling and um, tracking my weight loss and stuff. There was a, a an app I downloaded called Berry Berry Social or something. Berry, I don't know, but it has um, like little things that you can put reminders to put like your drinks, and you can put. Um, your food and you can and it connects to your fitness pal and my fitness pal is also connected to my phone so if I'm running or I'm walking or I'm doing stairs it tracks all of that stuff so it shows the exercise that I'm getting in and um, yeah so I'm just really gonna try to just be really more diligent about that um, and that's all I got it's I was very tired today um, I think I'm mentally overwhelmed a lot with what's going on and um but at the same time you know I, I think I'll be all right I think I'll be all right my dad um broke his foot I don't know if I mentioned this in the other video but he broke his foot and so he's been in the hospital and he also has lung cancer so they've been treating him with radiations and chemo and once a week and my mom was driving from Orlando to Tampa basically like you know that's like almost an hour drive back and forth like every weekend so they were keeping her at a, at a, um, a, at a local hotel near the VA hospital um, and now she's home and she's gonna go see him tomorrow so it's just been up and down emotional roller coaster um, you know, I think he'll be okay. I'm, I actually feel a lot more comfortable knowing that he's in the hospital, you know, with nurses that can take care of him and take him to his appointments and that my mom is not as stressed out having to drive back and forth. Um, and the only other thing I wanted to update you guys on is, um, my period situation. So I had, I was heavily on a period from New Year's till April, till the end of April basically, right? April, no, eight, March, the end of March. And that was no fun um, and super scary. And then we realized that it's probably like, there's something going on. We don't know 100% exactly what it is, but she thinks that it might be a, um, a pull up or something in my, in my ovaries and so I can't find out what how big it is or what's going on with that until I get an ultrasound which is scheduled for the 18th so today's the 10th having my surgery on the 11th I basically have um, uh, the week off to um, 
to, you know, get better. And the following week, I have a couple of appointments and um, I'm sticking to my appointments because I have to. I don't have, an, I don't have another choice. I want to find out what's going on, you know? Um, and my period actually stopped for a while there. Um, I think it's been two weeks that I've not had my, my period, um, since I started taking the pills again, the, um, she gave me progesterone and then it just started to come back just a little bit today. And I was like, no, I'm having my surgery tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I don't be leaking everywhere, but I guess it's whatever it is, whatever, you know? Um, and yeah, that's all, that's all I got. Damon, do you have anything you want to add to the video? No, no, I'm just, everything will go great. See that? <laughs> See that? That's why I married him. He's... And I love Amada. Aww. I love her very much. Aww. That's my guy. He's my Seymour. No, really, we do suddenly see more at karaoke. It's pretty good. He sings really well. He's my smile. See, he made the smile on my face. Um, yeah, no, Damon, he wants to come with me. He doesn't want to leave my side, but I was like, I don't know if he could stay in the, in the hospital room, but I'm sure he'll find a way to come see me, so. <sighs> it's only for a few days. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> I've been so tired. I think it's the cold. It might be sinuses now. I don't know. Anyway, this video is now going on 12 minutes and I'm sure I'll have more to update when I get my bag packed and I'll show that for you guys tomorrow because I'm sure I'll do some cuts and edits for tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So if anything, thanks guys for watching. You're awesome. Um, I'm hoping that this all goes well, and as I'm sure everybody is, and um, you guys are awesome. You're awesome. All right, I'll talk to you again later. Bye.